So this will be part A of our Angular API, Angular UI Spring API uh, complete tutorial for beginners step by step. And we've come this far, we've actually come all the way to this place. This is where we are, we are so far. If you come up to this point, thumbs up to you. Now we can add new frames by filling this form. We can also view details of a selected frame uh, just to make sure you can see it's actually displaying the correct uh, frame, but edit does not work. So today let's work on the edit uh, model. So I'm going to simply click on next here. All right, so we're gonna set up the edit form. We're gonna set up the form submission and also write the open edit method, all right? So the first thing we can do is to, let me see, we can copy and duplicate the modal template. Remember we have different templates uh, for different pop-ups. Change the ID. All right, let me just show you. You, go, you are going to copy the modal template. Uh, so I'm going to just do it. So I'm going to copy the template for, for details. Uh, copy and duplicate for add new. Okay, that's instruction. Let's just follow the instruction. And the, the template for add new is this one. I, if I'm not mistaken, it should be this one. So I'm going to just copy it by going down. It should be here. I'm going to copy it and paste. Copy and go down. At the last part, I'm going to paste it. All right. So change the idea of the template to content edit. So in this case, instead of content here, be content edits all right and just change this model title to something else because it can't be two then instead of new friend we can use our uh, edit friend record or update friend friend data all right okay so now the form we are going to be using here now, the form we are going to be using in this case is called the reactive form, okay? Uh, reactive form, I think I explained it a little later in this in this series. Reactive form is more feature rich than template form. So if you want to add new, maybe you can use template driven form. You want to view details, you can use template driven forms, but for editing, uh, some editing uh, validation and stuff like that is better to use the reactive form and that is what i'm going to use in this case all right so it says change the id of the ng template i've done that remove all the id attributes all right when when it comes to uh editing the id attributes is not necessary it's not relevant if you want you can leave it but if you are leaving it you must change it to something else for me i'm removing them modify any other conflicting id for instance the the title and stuff Remove all the ng model attribute. Change the name attribute to form control name. Oh, change all the name attributes to form control name. So basically, for instance, you have this name is first name. Is, instead of using first name, change it to form control name. All right. So once you do all of this, um, you also need to change the markup for the form. So let's see the markup for the form. The markup for the form is not going to be ng submit or something. It's going to be form group equal to edit form no validate. We are not validating for now. We are keeping it simple and we are going to work on validation a little later. Let me just copy the code. We have already made all these modifications and then and paste it. But I, in case of you, I recommend you make these modifications by hand. The way I spell it out in the step-by-step -step right here you can do it and then cross check so here i'm going to simply uh replace the form i copied so here i'm going to replace the form okay all right okay so i made all these changes you can see form control name is what we use in reactive form in template driven form we are using name and we are using ng model in reactive form we are using only form control name right all right so um now when we click on the edits uh yeah okay we have our template however 
the edit has not been written so uh, now if you look at the edit form value on the form tag you'll notice an error so let's see let's go check okay so you see we have an error here uh, we have four I'm going to take it out all right so you can notice an error here to fix this error open the TypeScript uh, file and create an edit form field it will be of type form group all right so to solve this problem i can actually try to do it from here it says import reactive form model uh, okay import reactive form model that is fine now this edit form create a field edit form so if i yeah it created it for me and the type of form is going to be a uh, form group like this all right so that's what you should do now if we go back to the to this place this error should go away it should go away as you can see we will now build the reactive form now reactive form is a bit dicey but it's easy uh, very good to work with although the template driven form might appear simpler but reactive form when you want to get the hang of it becomes so easy so if you have this form on your HTML page, you need to build it using a form builder uh, object in your, uh, in your TypeScript file. So uh, this button to open, I don't know if I've added it. So let me copy it and just add it right there in the, in the edit uh, button on my HTML table. I'm going to add uh, right here for edit. So I'm going to add this click event right here. Hmm. Give me a second. Let me just check what's happening here. All right. I think everything should be fine. I don't know why this is jumping to this place. Uh, maybe I can just make some room or I can just reduce the size of this. Okay, great. Now we will now build our reactive form. The open edit function, we've not written it, but let's build our reactive form first. To do that, we need to add a parameter to the constructor of type form builder. I call this FB. All right, so let's go to this place. Uh, all right, so we are going to add a parameter here private uh, FB is of type form builder yeah so we are going to use this attribute to build our reactive form okay <clears throat> uh let's see so we have this edit form this is a form we are going to build we are going to build this form <coughs> inside the on init method so in the the paid loads we want to build this form so we're going to say we are going to say these dots edit form dot these that edit form are going to build it using form builder these that fb dot uh, group we'll specify this and we are ready to build this form at this point <coughs> but i think i mixed up something so i'm going to just remove one of these redundant braces right here yes do this typescript typescript uh syntax whatever okay take out the errors take out this error as well okay and finally okay so to save time i'm going to simply copy <coughs> copy everything from here so basically we are simply building up the form saying that these are the, the the fields in the form and the values is empty for now because this is edit form the values for this form once the form is built is empty the values is going to be loaded when the user clicks on edit uh, on the edit button okay, i'm going to just paste all of these right here to save my time and we built our form so that's this is what is called building a reactive form we built our reactive form all right <clears throat> now we are going to work on open edit function okay so this is a function that will execute when the user clicks on the edit button on the table so begin by copying the open details and change the name to open edit so let's go to Let's go down. So I'm saying that we are going to copy this this file, this code here. Open edit is similar to open details, 
except that for open edit, we have to be able to edit. But for open details, we should not uh, be able to make any changes on those controls. So I'm going to paste this right here. Um, <clears throat> okay, so the name is going to be open edits. All right. Okay, so begin by copying, delete all the document that get element by ID. Good. So for the open edits, we don't need all this uh, document that get element by ID. All of them have to go. Somehow, magically, we are going to get the data into those text fields. At this point, you can launch the application and let's check what happens when we click on the edit button. So I'm going to save and I'm going to, sorry, what is this? I'm going to save everything and I'm going to go back and let's click on, let's make sure details is working so that we don't, we have not broken anything. And edit. Yeah. So edit works for now. Nothing is inside as you can see, but it works. Edit works. Nothing is inside this ID. At the end of the day, this ID will actually lock it up. We will not allow anybody to, if, when you are editing a form, you don't have to, you have, you don't have to change the ID of the form. So we have to lock it in some way. For instance, if I go to this place, if I go to edit, uh, okay, this is an error. You should not be able to edit the ID. All right, so let's see where we are at this point. Um, now let's write the code to load the controls with data, right? Add the codes uh, below the same open edit function Okay, now uh, this is a complete open edit function, but you have to use this dot edit form that patch value is going to load up the values and the controls in the form. So I'm going to simply copy this, this part of it. I'm going to copy it and I'm going to paste it right inside right here, All right? So this will be responsible for this patch value simply updates the, the values of the control that was displayed when the edit button was clicked. Okay. If you have any challenges, please let me know in the comment box below. I'm ready to help you. So at this point, I'm going to save everything and then I'm going to relaunch the application just to check. So if I say edit, you can see that it shows the, uh, the values that was selected. All right. You can actually just check, make sure you selected the right thing. Okay, let's see where we are on the stream of the time. Okay, for now, since we are we have limited time, I'm going to stop here. I'd like to uh, thank you for viewing. Subscribe if you have challenges. Let me know. Uh, there's a computer programming group I created on Facebook, International Computer Programmers. Please join this group so that we can actually communicate and keep learning together. I remain kind on the Tech Pro. I'm always there for you.